we've been given access to behind the scenes look at the Agents de la Mondiale team bus. And I'm really excited to show you what's in a bus during a three week grand tour. So first impressions, super clean and pristine bus this is. You've got the front seat, which is normally reserved for the director sportif or a rider if they do really well. Then you've got the driver's seat, most important seat in the bus. You're not getting very far without that one, guy. In the corner, you've got loads of GPS units. So making sure the bus driver knows exactly where he's going and exactly how long it's gonna take. Up here, you've got Bruno Rivera, and he is the driver of uh, the Ajax Le Mondial bus. So moving on from the bus driver's seat, you then go back and we've got eight seats here lined out for the riders. This is where a lot of the riders will spend a lot of their time during the travel for post-stage or even pre-rage to get to the start of the stage. I've just found a Mavic box here. If we have a look inside here, you've got the numbers. So that's uh, Alexis's numbers. You've got loads of different numbers for the Giro. His Mavic shoes there. And behind me, you've got the skin suits. So there's ben, Ben's skin suit. There you go there. And that's, they've just had their TT stage. So they're probably drying out because it was a bit of a wet stage. Above us, we have an aero lid. So that would have been used yesterday. Still all drying out from uh, pretty horrific weather yesterday. And then we get to the middle of the bus. We've got bench seats, really comfortable bench seats, really nice area to relax, chill out, maybe even put your legs up and try and recover ready for tomorrow's stage. And then if we move right back to the kitchen area, you've got power bar max recovery up here, then coffee machine, microwave, under here, you've got bin, you've got to keep the bus nice, clean and tidy at all times. Plenty more washing up liquid and hand sanitizer. After all, keeping clean and cleanliness is key on a team bus. So moving on from the coffee machine and the microwave on that side, we come over to where the food is prepared by the Swanyers. We've got plenty of fruit in there, a massive bowl of it, bananas, pears, anything you can really imagine. Freshly made cakes that I'm looking forward to having a taste of. You've got bottles from Elite, and then you've got ketchup. I think that's, yeah, olive oil, loads of sauces. Try not to make a mess. And then behind me, you've got a big monitor there. And this is where the direct sportive will be explaining to all the riders about the stage, how long it is, what the, uh, what the plan is for the race, uh, and how they can get you know, their best result they can in possible and also if the riders are doing like a recon or they've done a recon they can show the stage on the telly i'm guessing this is the fridge yeah fridge stacked full of like pureed apple plenty of drinks waters cokes we got freezer then with loads of ice packs if you're interested to know what ice packs are for is they stick these down their jersey to keep them nice and cool, or if they do have an injury, it's good for rest, ice compression, elevation. You've got another mirror, perfect for me. If we open this cupboard, we've got everything you need for when you're traveling, you can eat on the go. So you've got all your sauces, your cutlery. So the Swanyers, once they've prepared meals, like a rice-based meal, they can have their food while they're traveling to the hotel. So each rider has a specific shelf. So let's look at Larry's for example. He's got his helmet there, casket, and his shoes. You've got spare caskets or, and podium hats. And then when we move back, we've got showers to our left. Now these are actually nice ones. They've, they've got their own. So there's two individual showers there. Over here, you've got radios all being charged up really important to make sure they're fully charged so that the riders know what they're doing can communicate with the direct sportive at the back here you've got one really long bench this is where some of the director can speak to some of the riders or you can, they can even get a massage here 
but it's quite a nice area just to chill out in the back of the bus. As we move over there, we can see an array of different cupboards and cubby holes. If we open this one, for example, we've got a printer there. Now the Direct Sportive will use that to print out stage notes and that kind of thing. So then they can they put st uh, the stage notes on the stem for the riders. Maps, everything you need to know. Got more, more hats, more gloves. A desk so that the, the Direct Sportive can work. Over there is mainly for the soigneur, so you've got towels there for the massage. You'll notice they've got some really cool lighting going on up here. It's not the newest bus in the world, but it still is packed full of tech. Digital clock, incredibly important, so the riders know exactly when they're warming up, how long they've got before the stage starts, because, yeah, you don't want to be late. After the radios, you, there is worth pointing out, they've each got a full stack of rider cars to be able to give the fans. So that is Ben Caster and Francois Pider. There. Now, something I nearly missed because, well, it's quite frankly invisible, is the toilet. And it's actually pretty spacious. Well hidden, that one. You've got shelves at the top of the bus, and this is for storage, basically. But up here, you've got loads of different leg lubricants. So all the different oils, from warm-up oil to deep peat, anything the ride needs. So this is where the Swanier will be lubing the rider's legs up or giving them a pre-ride massage before they go. And then you've also got some medium muscle balms. You've got, this is actually really important, some uh, kitchen tissue paper to wipe some of the excess oil off the legs. Spare shoes, sun cream. So it's pretty important during a, the world though, especially when it's really hot, but also the Giro gets hot and cold. So you need to be prepared for all weather. More kit, more helmets. So that's the normal Bidard's normal helmet, not so aero. And Bidard's skin suit. Fresh from yesterday's race, or should I say not so fresh? Right, the rider's coming back on, so I better get off. I hope you've enjoyed having a behind the scenes look inside the Azure de la Mondial team bus. If you've enjoyed it, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And for more Giro content, why don't you click on the little tiger up there?